just not a math person. Math isn't for me. I should just give up. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to be good at math. You can be good at other things. Did you hear what they just said? Yeah, it sounds like they believe in the myth of the math person. That damaging myth that's just everywhere? What? You're caught in a myth. But that's okay. The Ucubians are experts at fighting myths. Yes, we fight myths with science. Brain science tells us that no one is born without a math brain and no one is born with one. In fact, our brains are constantly growing and changing. No one is born a math person. Yeah, don't trap your brain in the myth. You can do whatever you set your mind to. Wow, that's really cool. I'm excited for my brain to change and grow as I learn. Go science! I guess I should stop assuming that some people are naturally good at math and some people aren't. I should change my message to say that everyone can do anything and your brain can grow and change. I wasn't sure if math was going to be for me because I didn't, I didn't realize that what I secretly liked about math was actually something that could be valued in it, that the all the why questions and the reasoning behind how I got to my answer was just as valuable as the answer I got. Suddenly the math was really hard. And at first that was hard for me because I was trying to figure out how to, how to approach this. At first it was really jarring and really difficult, but I started really enjoying thinking really hard. And so never, you know, believed in my math abilities, I was like, oh yeah, I'm a reader, I'm a writer. I had some incredible teachers my junior and senior year. It was clear from their passion of math. Uh, they really wanted us to, you know, have similar passions um, for the subject. One of the most damaging ideas in education that's completely wrong is the idea of a math person that's some people are born with a maths brain and some people aren't. But it seems that some students find it easier to learn math than others. That's true, but that's because they've had different experiences and different messages and those have allowed different pathways to form in their brain. But the way you develop your mathematical brain is this. When you learn something new, a pathway forms in your brain and at first it's a really delicate, faint pathway. But as you go back to an idea and think about it more deeply, it turns into a stronger and stronger pathway that you can use forever more. Oh, so is that where practicing a new idea really helps you learn it? Yeah, and it isn't always that new pathways are formed. When you learn something, it can be that a pathway you already have becomes strengthened. The third thing that can happen is when you learn something new, a connection forms between pathways you have in your brain. That's so cool to think about the new brain pathways growing. The incredible plasticity of the brain. So this is how you develop a maths brain. The harder you try, the more you'll develop your brain. So always know that you can learn anything with good teaching and lots of effort.